Hi crypto fans, welcome to CCS Cryptocurrency State. My name is Santiago my web developer and investor and in today's video we are going to cover the testnet of Taiko. This is a roll up on Ethereum project. This is a free airdrop, a possible free airdrop because it's in testnet. We are going to cover a little bit about this CK ABM project and like always we are going to do the step by step with everything that you need to do in order to participate here. And um, some optional things that I found out, I will comment on that too and see if we are late to this or not. So everything about Taiko we are going to cover in this video. And like always guys, you have my subscriptions in my webpage at cryptocurrencystate.net slash subscriptions. The link is in the description. You can join at Discord and you can join to an application. This is an application that I created to register your airdrops progress. So it's really, really functional and works really, really nice and you will be making easier all the registration for your airdrops and you can use multiple wallets. Before we begin, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications and without anything else, let's get into it. Hey guys, well, if this is your first time here, remember that in the description you have the link to the airdrop organizer. This is where I register all the projects that I cover in terms of airdrop projects. With all the news about that, you can check here my videos and the step by steps here. So you will get all the information of my projects here. And you also have my subscriptions, like I mentioned. And if you want to see how the web app that I created works, you can check it here. And guys, the Discord monthly subscription is less than a fee of one Ethereum mainnet transaction. So if you compare it with that, you could give it a try. There are amazing information in my Discord. I am super happy with it. And today we are covering Taiko airdrop, the possible airdrop. I would say we have a 70% chance to get this airdrop. There are some signs that we may be late for that and some signs that we still do in the testnet that still is available. We could get the airdrop. So no guarantees for this one, less than others. So this is really speculative. In the Twitter account, you can see 25K followers. So it's like, I would say a medium new project right now of terms of awareness. So if a project like Arbitrum has that amount of awareness, you know that you may get less rewards. So in terms of new projects, I would like to be below the 30K followers. I think that gave me more possibilities for a net drop distribution. So I think this number is good. I like it that they have here that they are hiring. So that means that they have capital. You know that with, with the probably recession that we are going to have, there are many IT companies that stop to hiring people and actually I firing people and actually I firing people. So they have some positions open in terms of progress because they look like engineer positions here. So I think that is a good sign. I also check it the GitHub because this is an open source project and they have really nice activity. You can see even the last seven hours was some updates here. But yeah, really, I, I, I see progress here, guys. I see w people working on this. In terms of the amount of capital that this company has, I couldn't find much information about that, guys. But I think it would be nice to, to give it a try for the testnet. So going to the step by step on how to participate here, step one and two, like always, you need to follow them on Twitter, follow them on Discord. Discord is, is nice, it's active. You can see some information there. For example, today they released the Q4 2022 Taiko community update. So you can check that and see what happened the last quarter. So I, I really like what is happening there. I, there are active people. So after you did step one and two, we need to add two chains into the MetaMask. So here you have the link to the configure wallet. And basically my steps are from here, from the official documentation. So you can be sure that I am using only the official links. So here you can see that in configure your wallet, you enter into the link that I posted. You need to add an Ethereum A1 and an Antaico A1. So you need both wallets and both chains in your MetaMask. Also because you are going to do bridge from one to another. So if you go to the link, you can click add to the wallet. This will pump the wallet information into your MetaMask. So approve this. You have the name, the URL, the chain ID, etc. Add the first one, then you can go and add the ICO2. Click on approve and switch the network. 
Also, if you want, you can click here for the RPC configuration and do it manually if you want. But you can see right now, if you go to MetaMask, you will see both change. Right now I am in Taiko and I have the other Ethereum A1 Taiko. So this is step three. Now we need to do step four, which is get the Fawcett Ethereum tokens in both networks. So you are going to need it for transaction fees. So you go here to the first one. This is for Taiko layer one. So for this, you need to make a tweet and you need to replace the signs for your wallet. And once you have that, you need to copy the URL of the tweet and put it here to get some Ethereum here. So copy your address, click on make a tweet. This will pump your Twitter account that you have open right now. Here, change all these zeros for your address. Click on tweet. Click on view the tweet. Here you copy the link. Put the link here and put give me and I will select the max amount 6.25 Ethereum. You can see that say funding request accepted. So you can see that I am getting the funds. There's a bar here, a progress bar. You can see that now says funded. And you can see I have the funds. Sorry, I told you wrong before. This is a Ethereum A1, the Tycos Private, but the Ethereum one. So once you have that, uh, you can remove this the tweet if you want. Now you need to go to the other URL, and this is the Taiko URL. And you, you basically need to do the same. So go to Taiko, copy the address, make the tweet, click on view the tweet, copy the URL, and I will get the max also. You can see funding request accepted. Now it says that it's funded, so I go to the MetaMask. And you can see in Taiko I have 6.25 Ethereum and the same in Ethereum Taiko 6.25. So you need to use these two faucets for the two networks in order to get your tokens. Now that you have that, we need to go to step five, which is use the bridge. We need to send Ethereum from Ethereum to Taiko. So go to the bridge. First of all, connect your Ethereum Taiko. So connect the wallet, MetaMask. You can see the max that I have. So I will send, let's say, one Ethereum. I will keep the recommended one and I will click on bridge. Click on confirm. Transaction sent. Now we need to wait this. The pending request is here. Like always, you can go here and see also the information of your account. And if you want to see the block explorers, you can go to the official link here and you can see here the layer one explorer and L, the L1 explorer for Ethereum and L2 explorer for Taiko. And there you can search for your address and you will see your transactions there. Here you also have your transactions and since that already was done, here you have your TX hash, so click there. You go to L1, you can see that was successful and confirmed. And you can see that I have now 5.24. So I already used the bridge and sent from Ethereum to Taiko. Now step six is mint horse in the bridge. So after you did the bridge, you can see here, instead of sending Ethereum, connect it to the Ethereum, click here on horse. You will see token change for horse and click on faucet here. So in order to mean this, you need to have some Ethereum faucet and you can request 1000 horse. So I will click mint, confirm, transaction sent. So we need to wait now. And now transaction completed and you can see I have 1000 horse here. So what I want to do is I want to send some horse also to Taiko one. So I will click this approve, confirm, transaction sent and transaction completed. Now step seven, I want to do the opposite and bridge, send something from Taiko to Ethereum. So again, in the bridge process, we connect now to the other network. So I move to Taiko, connect the wallet. You can see now here Taiko to Ethereum. I will put Ethereum here and I will send to Ethereum from here to the Ethereum A1. 
confirm, confirm, transaction sent. And you can see here that I go to Ethereum, it's in pending status, transaction completed, just appear. And if I want to send some cards to, from Taiko to Ethereum, I need to have here because the faucet, the mint is only when you are in the Ethereum May 1. So I need to wait that that arrives to this after my transaction, my bridge. But that is all guys, that for those steps. So after you did the bridge and you sent it from Taiko to Ethereum, the step 8 is for the contract interaction, if you go to the official documentation for the steps that you need to do, for example, you need to bridge tokens between Ethereum and Taiko, you need to send transactions, you need to deploy a DApp. So this is for interaction with a contract. So to do this, I found an application that was before. Right now I couldn't find documentation for that, but I found an application that you can use to accomplish that not everyone is aware of this so this could give us some boost for for ourselves guys if you are seeing this video you are not going to find it here in the documentation or anything like that anymore so to do that you can go to this link simple taiko counter this is an app so you go here you connect your wallet in this case metamask next connect go to Taiko and here click on increment. You can see there was 1027 increment. This is interacting with the contract. Wait for the transaction. And I think if there are an airdrop, many people is going to use the bridge only, but some of us is going to have this interaction with at least one app. So transaction confirm. And you can check that transaction if you want on the explorer of Taiko. Now we want to send funds from both networks to other wallets. So like you know, I usually do airdrop with multiple wallets, but I don't like to link them. So um, you can send me a little of Ethereum from both of, uh, to my addresses for your testing purposes. So the idea is that we send from this wallet to another Ethereum 1A1 wallet or another Taiko. So you can just from here click on send, put the address that you want and send some funds. Then you go to the Ethereum one Taiko and the same and do the same. Just click on send and put an address here and you can send it from here to the other places. You can send it and send it back. And like I put here guys, we probably are going to do that in my Discord. So if you are interested to all that, we follow each other the Twitter accounts also for scroll, you need to have 30 followers, so we did that. So my Twitter, my Discord, sorry, works for many other things. We are really working together there for many airdrops and stuff. So if you want to enter into my Discord, you need to go to the subscription page. The link is in the description. And guys, the monthly subscription only costs less than one Ethereum gas fee. So please, it's only five bucks. You can try it for a month. And also, if you want, you can try my application. Here is how it works, so you can see it and apply for the subscription there. And after doing all these tests, guys, you need to put your screenshot uh, plus your address where you show your transactions, just like uh, you can see in the Discord. So in the Discord, you have a section that says uh, testnet feedback. So you can put here some comment with your address. And here you can see that they post the transactions that they did. They send some cards from one place to another and then from Taiko to other place. So you can see, put a screenshot here with your address and you will be done for this. An extra thing that I want to comment for this video is you can make a contribution like mentioning a bug if you want. So if you go to the link here of GitHub, you can make a contribution. For example, open a new issue here. If you something that was wrong, you can go here and put a new issue well, you need to sign up uh, with GitHub account and put some issue that you find. I think that will help you also to get more rewards maybe. This is all a speculation, of course, but uh, putting issues there seems to be very important for the team. I saw that in the Discord a couple of times. And 12, you can claim a Taiko contributor Git POAP. So to do that, probably you need to be a developer and you need to do a, make, a merge request that needs to be integrated. So here is the link to do that. 
But of course, guys, this only will work if you are a developer and you want to make a contribution in terms of code to the project because it's open source. So yeah, that will be also a great a way to, to get this and get the, this contribution to be a git a POAP that probably will have some claims, probably tokens, something like that. So these are optional stuff, guys, that you may want to want to do. Probably the number 12 is more difficult, but 11, if you see some bug, you can report it and create the bug here. I think that is important also to the progress of the testnet. So guys, that is all for this video for Taiko. We cover everything here. Remember my subscriptions to check them. Remember the airdrop organizer and follow me in Twitter at Crypto C State because we cover there more stuff that are not in my videos. Sometimes I apply to another airdrops that I didn't do a video because I didn't consider it. And many things happen in my Twitter, so follow me at Crypto C State. And before we leave, like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.